my role today uh, is to share with you my knowledge how you can get a high level big picture of your enterprise uh, by using planning or uh, simply executing your business initiatives uh, project uh, using Jira. Uh, so as I may assume, uh, there are many uh, planned or already ongoing projects in your organization uh, that involve multiple team. Uh, so therefore, uh, it requires uh, resources sharing uh, in your organization. So if you think of it, uh, there is a common problem in, in many enterprises, uh, which means that uh, depending on the uh, management level uh, in your organization, uh, it's hard to combine waterfall and agile approach. Uh, because basically, the longer your time horizon is, uh, the more waterfall you need to be, which means uh, it's, it's, it's obvious because uh, large uh, long-term strategy or uh, procedures uh, planning, uh, resources planning, uh, corporate policy and many other factors uh, makes you less agile. And But on the other hand, there are uh, many uh, teams in your in your organization that works in a fully agile manner because when you uh, when you go down from portfolio to to teams uh, you just find that a great piece of work that in your organization uh, is, is is performed in a fully agile manner uh, so it makes us to conclusion that uh, to manage properly uh, on enterprise scale, we need uh, both agile and waterfall approach at the same time. All right, but the second, uh, the second main uh, and common problem uh, that enterprises uh, face uh, is that by every uh, business initiative, business project, uh, there are a common constraint that every project manager knows. Uh, which which are scope, uh, time, and resources. Uh, so, on the daily basis, project manager uh, trade off between them uh, because the the change in, in the one factors uh, necessitate the change in the other, uh, just to compensate. Uh, which which means that uh, mm, to allow project manager to, to do their job properly, they need a tool uh, just to see those, uh, those dependencies and uh, affections. Uh, and there's a place for big picture product suite. Uh, our main product is uh, big picture. Uh, and it's uh, simply, uh, it consists of uh, five modules. I mean, uh, uh, risk, resources, uh, um, a gun chart uh, and roadmaps. Uh, a gun chart is also available as a standalone app, uh, and uh, for large organization, we also have a, a big picture enterprise uh, that has some uh, scale edge, uh, scale uh, enterprise uh, features. Uh, and the last child in our let's say big family, uh, it's a big template. It's an extension that allows you to, for example, import or export the data, for, for example, to a Microsoft project. Uh, and what is more, uh, it allows you to, to define some templates uh, to, to create electronic documents that are based on, on the data there's, there are in, in Jira issues. All right, so uh, let's let's move to the to the modules in uh, in big picture uh, add-on. So the heart of the um, of the big picture is a pro program manager. Uh, it's a crucial disclaimer here that the word the term program you need to simply associate identify with a, a business initiative or just a project. We 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 use the the term program. Uh, only in order to to avoid the confusion between Jira project and K 
kind of initiative. So program manager gives you a high level of view to manage your portfolio programs or, or simply projects. Uh, there are different views, for example, tiles on a Kanban, bo Kanban board. So there is to do in progress done to, to see the, the, the picture of the all initiatives that are uh, planned on or going in your organization. Mm, but you can also have a view uh, you can simply uh, share with your stakeholders to, to have a big picture what kind of initiatives uh, are done in your organization, seeing them on the timeline. All right, so simply to, to create a new uh, program in the big picture, uh, you can just define uh, what kind of set of JIRA issues sh should be consisted of. Uh, which means that you can uh, we can point what kind of boards it can be JQLs or simply the projects. So it's really important to to know that you can define any set of tasks depending on the simply uh, what kind of filter you would like to 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 ch to choose. All right. So the uh, the most popular uh, our uh, module uh, is Gun Chart. So it's uh, worth to keep in mind that it covers all of this constraint and makes people available to see them. So uh, basically, you can see your task on a timeline and see dependencies between them. It is fully synchronized uh, with, with Jira issues. And what is also crucial to mention here is that at the bottom of that chart, you can see the resources allocation. Uh, in relation to the tasks that are uh, that I completed, so you can change the allocation. If you see that some kind of resources is over allocated, you can simply reschedule your task or reassign them, and you will see the result on the one screen. Uh, what is also crucial to highlight here is. Uh, is the scope so simply the issues uh, that you got in your in your program? So uh, to keep an order with your scope and to see the appropriate data, you can define uh, any data here, uh, any data. I mean standard or custom Jira fields to be displayed. And in this example, I just prepared a, a field time tracking because. Uh, it's a kind of a kind of information that uh, allows you to keep your project on track and to see uh, how how the progress is going on in your work breakdown structure. Uh, I would like to also uh, show you that uh, Gun Chart can also uh, be used to create a portfolio view in in a one screen because you can structureize them. Uh, by Jira projects, uh, and it's what's also crucial to know. It's the aggregation. I mean, you can define different type of aggregation just to s just to uh, provide your stakeholders with live reporting. Uh, so it's I guess it's really conven convenient. Uh, for example, during the steering committee. Uh, you can simply see the uh, the dependence in between the task, which is just a, uh, a basic gun chart capability. Uh, to identify the potential problems during your business initiatives projects, uh, or simply to answer the question, what can go wrong, uh, we provide you with the risk module. So it's simple, but uh, yet powerful uh, module because you can, uh, on this risk matrix, you can drag and drop your issues to define the, uh, to define the, for example, probability and severity of the given task. So it's also uh, one quick uh, options to, to see uh, what kind of risk are crucial for our project and how we ca can mitigate them. Uh, at the bottom of that module, oh, sorry, uh, at the bottom of that module, there is a risk registry uh, that allows you to uh, to, to be configured, so you can define any data that is needed to be presented uh, that is concerned with the with the risk that you undefined. 
All right. Uh, the third module is uh, concerned with uh, resources and team definition. So uh, in big picture, you are allowed to define your holiday plans and workload plans for, uh, for given resources just to, uh, just to determine uh, the basic capacity. Uh, what's more, uh, and what is here, uh, I guess, crucial to be highlighted, it's a uh, big picture is fully integrated with tempo teams, which means that you can uh, import and synchronize teams in big picture with the teams that you al already got in a tempo in case your, organizing, uh, your organization use it. Uh, depending on how you organize the, the teamwork in your organization, you can create uh, global teams uh, that, can, that may be reused in uh, many programs, but on the other hand, you can also create local team that is dedicated just to one program. Uh, in case in your organization there's a problem with resources sharing between the projects, uh, you can simply define the availability of a given resource for a given program. Uh, just to, for example, define that some expert is only 50% available for some team, let's say, during the June. The third uh, module I would like to cover, it's a resources allocation view. Uh, the main capability of that module is to present you the allocation of the, and the capacity of the resources uh, uh, in a given business initiative. Uh, you can also change, if you can see that some kind of resources are over allocated, you can uh, act, uh, ac act on it and, uh, for example, change the, re reassign the task, reschedule them, uh, just to get the view that, uh, that it's, uh, let's say, green, and it w which means that uh, that heat map presents you at glance uh, how your allocations look like. Uh, we also provide you not only with a, with a view that presents you individual resources, but on the left side uh, of that module you can see the whole teams. Uh, and you can see the cap capacity of the teams at glance. Uh, we provide you with the high level view because you can get the different kind of data aggregation. For example, it can be daily, weekly, uh, monthly, quarterly, or, or, or even yearly, uh, which means that you can have a bird's eye view on, on your resources in your organization. All right. Uh, and let's move to the last but not least uh, module that is available in big picture, and that one is called roadmap, uh, but it's also known as a, let's say, board of boards, uh, because uh, it serves uh, for, the, for the purposes for multiple teams. So you can see uh, uh, many teams on such a board, and you can uh, define the dependencies on, uh, on it. So as you can see, uh, it covers resources, time, and scope, because on the timeline, uh, you can see the uh, you can see the timeline that it's divided into consecutive, uh, let's say, time frames, uh, which in this case are simply Scrum sprints. But it depends on you how you can configure them. Uh, you can also define the um, capacity of the uh, for a given uh, sprint, and you can. Uh, uh, take a look uh, how the task effort uh, com is, is compared to it. So what I would like to stress here is that such a view can also uh, serve you for epic planning, which means that you can define that one time frame is your quarter or even year. So which means that you can have a high level uh, view it presents you what kind of key features of capability your organization are going to release during the coming months or even years. So it also allows you to, to see the 
cross-project dependencies between the teams. Uh, links shows you if you if the, the you uh, link the linked it, the issues properly. All right, so uh, that was the. Mm, the short presentation of current capabilities of Big Picture, and uh, in a in a coming uh, five minutes, uh, I'm going to cover what upcoming features are of a uh, new version of Big Picture, Big Picture Seven, because uh, there's uh, many changes that we are going to release. So first of all, I will tell you uh, a few words about two new modules that we are going to release. Then I will tell you something about skill capacity management because I know that there is a really desirable feature uh, because we, we talk with uh, many clients with, from a large organization and that kind of management is, is crucial. And also uh, I will cover features that are strictly related to the portfolio management. All right, so the, uh, the first new capability of big picture uh, is going to be new roadmap. Uh, it's already available on cloud and in a, let's say, coming month or maybe two months, it will be also available on server. So what's the key, uh, key thing is that it uh, provides the term of objective. So uh, objective is just a thing, if you just uh, uh, consider that, that uh, Objectives allows you to find a common language between the business and IT. Because uh, on the board you can see the tasks that are maybe simply technical, but the business tells you in the way of objectives. So that, that view would be fully complementary with that board view that I already presented you in a few minutes ago. So it allows you to match your goals with the job that is done by the particular teams. We are going also to stress a work breakdown structure to, to allow you to keep your scope in order. So uh, we are going to release the separate module uh, to allow you quickly change the, uh, change the column view that it's presented uh, on, this, on that page. Uh, and we are also provide you with uh, Excel-like editing uh, to to make your uh, work with the with the scope easier. Uh, at the bottom of that module, you are going to be um, you are going to see the key metrics, for example, concerning resources allocated or what kind, uh, how many issues are already in progress or or, or is or they are already done. The next powerful feature is, as I already mentioned, uh, skill uh, concerning skill capacity management. So uh, we are going to create a new skill widget that is going to be available on a issue page, and uh, it's going to uh, give you an opportunity to define the required skills to complete Epic if we are talking about uh, high-level planning, or required skills to complete a particular story when we are talking, for example, about team planning. So it, that kind of information uh, we will aggregate and uh, on a resources module that I already presented you, there will be some, uh, at the bottom of that module, there will be available some kind of pane that uh, present the res skill allocation and skill capacity, which uh, gives you a short view uh, how, the, how, re, uh, how skills uh, are uh, allocated in your, in your project. You can define uh, a different, uh, different order and define a different, uh, let's say, effort of a given skill, skill based on the effort of the whole task. The next uh, feature that I'm going to, to, to tell you in details is portfolio view. So as I presented you, right now there is a program manager, but we are going to um, customize it and to extend its capabilities because uh, it will be available to define the structure of your initiative. 
uh, and that kind of approach allows you to aggregate data on each level and present it for your stakeholders. So, for example, you, you are going to be um, able to define this kind of pro uh, programs and then uh, aggregate it for a kind of portfolio. And what is also crucial to, to mention here is that nowadays you can create a program, but we are going to support um, Program is just an uh, overall term, but we are going to replace it uh, just to be uh, compliant with a variety of project frameworks. Scrum, Scaled Agile Framework, that its, uh, key, key, that its popularity is keep growing, and other hybrid or uh, waterfall methodologies. So in order to, uh, to, fully, uh, to fully cover uh, different uh, different frameworks. Uh, in case you in your organization uh, this implemented scaled agile framework uh, methodology, uh, we are going to uh, present you so-called uh, multi-value streams. Uh, so just aware that it's uh, that it's done by the multiple agile release train. Uh, it's it, it's going to be the view that will be truly useful for uh, your shareholders, and you can uh, simply share that uh, sh such a picture with them. And uh, last but uh, but not least uh, is the safe backlog planning. So uh, we are going to um, extend the capability of uh, work breakdown structure module, and to present you here are multiple teams. Uh, and allows you to prioritize your backlog uh, and uh, Excel-like editing uh, with advanced filtering options to, to cover fully uh, save backlog planning process. Uh, all right, so that was the, the features that, I, uh, that already are um, available as far as big picture is concerned. And I also told you about upcoming feature of Big Picture. So uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions concerning our tool, feel free to ask. And we are also available uh, at our booth just to explain you in details and to, to cover any scenarios with you, just to present you how you can uh, boost your management processes in your organization. Thank you very kindly.